We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back. Yes, we are about to get off the Disney Wish. We're gonna tell you all about it. Where to begin? First of all, we had a lovely time. Oh yeah. A lovely time. Wonderful. I think, like, we booked a cruise in 2019 after our first fresh embryo transfer failed. A bit of exciting news right here. See this right here? We're gonna take that and we're gonna take this right here, this Disney gift card, and we're about to officially confirm with a down payment our first Disney cruise on the Disney Dream. Four night Bahamas. And we had no idea what like family our family would look like and all of that. And so so this is like a long time yeah. coming. Because we had to cancel it because of treatment and then we had to cancel it last year when we got a sicky bug. And so it was just like once we were on the ship we were like <laughs> we're on the ship. We took photos. And the Oceaneers Club is right here. Take a little. Side back. A little bit older, but I think we can play around with them if we're with them. I don't know anything. for days, set sail, it's party time. And we've never cruised before, right? So it was like overwhelming. Jamesy, you're gonna run past our room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our room was ready. Two twenty. <laughs> James is running on insanity fumes. Oh, this cruise babies, huh? We have a Tiana room. Oh my goodness. 
Yes. This is so different. <laughs> yes. It's just like something that like we've never experienced before. <sighs> you need to take a nap. You want to get out? Look at this lovely blanket. Yeah. What? Peter and Sarah Brooker wishing you all an amazing cruise. Maria. What? Maria F. En enchantment package. Um, we were too excited to even realize. Maria. Oh, Maria. Too much. <laughs> enchantment package. Oh. Ooh. And now we're sailing. Cute. There's more. There's more. Wow. What? Maria, this is too much. Oh. These are very cool. Those are so cool. And this coin? Wow. Oh, it's a pin. Oh. oh. Yes. Maria, thank this is you. Incredible. I want to keep the box forever. Louis, like, line drawing. Look at, they have a diaper caddy and a pack and play ready. I called about this and they said you can't do this until you get on the boat. So they must have been just super kind and they did. Now let's get ready for the most anxious part. Oh my god. Oh this god. Is too much. Sarah and I have high up. Sarah and I have fears. Big step. Job. Wow. Ooh, you can see NASA. Very good for Marcel. No. Oh yeah. No. No. <laughs> He's oh, a little can, too nervous. You can see the, the deck right above us. <laughs> Cute little chairs. chairs. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to have a glass of wine on here later. I know those are like, I think those are champagne glasses. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink my wine. Mm -hmm. Our other mm -hmm. Tiana artwork. <laughs> here is how they set up the beds for us. With <laughs> this is how they set up this bed. So it's small for James with the guardrail that's so nice. And then. Oh, no. Pack and play. What? The moon's out so they can see the ocean. You can see where other things have been. Oh my gosh. This is like when you, because we live in cities, we don't understand truly how bright yeah. the moon is. I think one of our very favorite parts of the whole thing was the artwork. Yeah. Man. Every, every deck, I feel like I got my lingo down now. <laughs> every deck has like a... Uh, their own dedicated like characters or stories, movies. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. And then the artwork in the room corresponds kind of like that. Right. And like there's just mosaics and there's tapestries and like I didn't expect all that. Yeah. No, like and even like not purely Disney things. You know, like influences obviously and whatnot, but like everything from like concept art to like the carpet just having like details. We have a message coming. Oh, <laughs> There's a rainbow. Um, also, like, this isn't going to be like a how to Disney, like, step by step process because, like, we're such. Like, this was like our first experience um, that like we were like such noobs. Like we didn't even know that like you needed like this master card thing, like in that slot for oh, yeah. your lights to turn on. Like one night we came up, we came home and like our lights wouldn't go on. A joke. <laughs> our lights won't turn on. But we don't know, is there, hey, should, hey, should we hey. call? Oh, they're so, such good friends. Well, we called and we're just total noobs at cruising and <laughs> the master key that, or like the little, what would you call it? Master key that's like in the little room. slot you're inside. You're you're the world there. Gotcha. We just had to do that. I didn't, like I feel like we, I felt like things were small. Like I did think that things were gonna be like massive. But like then when we were here, it felt quaint. And yeah. even though things were small, it worked out perfectly. Mm -hmm. I, I've been thinking all week, I remember when the Rapunzel bathrooms opened up in Magic Kingdom, and I was like, wow, this is like theming plus plus. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar vibe to like... Like Wizarding World? Yes, that's yeah. what I was going to say, Wizarding World, mm -hmm. the Universal. And there's just theming in everywhere you look, and I love that. Yeah. 
also another thing you love is that Disney music is just playing everywhere. So like, awesome. right at Disney World, like you're like if you stay at the Polynesian, it's like tropical music. Like it goes along with those themings. But this, the theme of this is just Disney, Disney. and so it's just constant Disney music, and like it was such a good variety. And yeah, it was it was awesome. And the food was our next favorite. Thing. Yeah. And I don't even think like there's enough time to talk about like all the different meals that we ate. And I don't even think like there's enough time to talk about like all the different meals that we ate. Um, but like my favorite was the Avengers like dinner. Keep in mind at dinner you can order as much as you want. So like I like couldn't pick between two entrees, which is very me. And I got like a shawarma, and then I got a pasta with scallops, and like I don't know, like it was just amazing. I think like. We're going to include little snippets of all of our meals. So like, if you have any questions about stuff, put it in the comments and we'll reply. Um, but again, there's like so much. What I do you, what my do you my favorite was the room service, which is also 24 hours. <laughs> the flatbread. Oh, it's like yeah. a sausage and cheese flatbread. Mm -hmm. um, that was from room service that we got, yeah. I think, two or three times. Yeah. So lovely. So like, the options here are there's like a quick service by the pool deck. All right, Karen is gonna make a taco pizza sandwich. And James has lost his mind. There's a buffet, there's your sit down meal every night, there's the room service, and then you can also do like dining, fine dining, yeah, that you can plan. And I think like my goal was like to get a good array of everything. And those were like my favorite days when we like, we like made it a point yeah. to get it and Eat all there's ice cream and there's pop and like fountain drinks. Um, we did get plenty of fancy drinks too. Yes, they had so many mocktails. It's like a rainbow. Every every place had a had a mocktail. He's a Disney cruise kid. It's just a bubble. Wow. You sure? And this is not alcoholic. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, Mama. <laughs> Cheers. So good. I think that's my favorite fancy drink of the trip. Can I try? Oh, James is going to look at the menu. There you go. Yeah. And then we got like a space bell going on. We got a sorbet for Jamesy. Wow. And yeah, great options for the kids, great desserts. Like and James we, liked the steak the most. Yeah. We ate a lot. <laughs> he's ready, he's ready, he's ready for his dinner. What? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorge gorgeous. Oh my god. The next one's small. <laughs> I also don't know if we've mentioned for the vlog that we have dining with these goons. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Look, look at your freaky premium bar. 
good company. And look at Jamesy's. He's eating just the sprinkles. When every other time he's at a dinner with sprinkles, he doesn't like the sprinkles. He picks them up. And now, thank you. Modern art. Hey, it's pirate night. We got some Disney bounds going on. James also took a 15 hour nap. Um, I'm Peter Pan, Sarah's Wendy. This guy is Captain James Hook. And if you don't know who this little guy is, then you should just stop watching our videos. Mr. Smee. Mr. Smee you've ever seen. <laughs> in case Sarah wasn't in that last shot, here's her Wendy bound. They have falafel. They have samosas. There's a lot of good stuff. But we did, we like just snicky snack. And by snicky snack, I mean like basically had a full meal. Every two hours. <laughs> For room service, so. I could eat. Lots of crumbs on your tables. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of crumbs on our table. Three, two, one. Push the button. Pretty sweet, right? I'm gonna take it. Thank you. Thank you for the dolls. Oh my. service is what Teddy says. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We got some buffalo chicken wings, chicken tenders and fries, the flatbread, lamb and sauce. And that might be our favorite thing of the whole cruise. It really is. And when do we have dinner? In like a half hour. 45 minutes. But it's our last night. When in doubt, room service out! The food is for sure like my favorite thing. So the thing that we were surprised about and bummed about was that any children that are not potty trained or wearing diapers cannot go in the pools any pool at all. on the ship. And I guess it's a cross, that's like a cruise thing. Um, and we had no clue, you know, like we, we didn't do a lot of research because we really wanted to be like surprised by the wish and like in turn we missed yeah, that detail. That we didn't expect yeah, that like, would happen. Kids, but the, family but swim together. <laughs> you know, James and the Splash Pad a, yeah. a lot more, and you still had fun. And then because of that, we were like really pumped to get the cast of the key. We were able to just like switch our mindset. Yeah. Like we weren't, we didn't let it like linger. Like at first, it was like we were, I don't know, we weren't like asking to like, I don't know, snorkel or go to like a fancy restaurant with the kids. Like it's just something that we really like to do All together. together. <laughs> They do little announcements, especially now that we're like getting ready to get off. Um, but anyways, Castaway Key, I think, like I think that was my favorite day. Yeah, we joined the Earhart in a family cabana mm -hmm. after I ran the Run Disney Castaway Key Challenge, the yeah. 5K. So, so they got two more medals. Yeah, they always do a 5K on Castaway Key, but this one was special for the cruise mm -hmm. after marathon Dopey Weekend.
finished the day. Officially, we finished the Dopey Castaway Key weekend. When is the next time you're gonna run? Like, like for fun? Or for training, like a year from now? Oh, I mean a year, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Nick kept the Mickey kept the mini. Yes. And so, two more medals, eight in total. Me and Carolyn took photos of us with the medals. Our medals on the beach. Me, Carolyn, and Katie ran it in the early morning. They got us off the ship at 6 a.m., ran the 5K. There were some characters, there was um, cool stops. And you got to see the ship like all lit up. Yes, and then um, Me Megan and Katie stayed off the ship after the 5K. Carolyn and I got back on the, the ship to the, then meet our families and then come down. Mm -hmm. um, but the cabana was just the epitome of like relaxation. I think that's like the official end of our dopey challenge is Did the it. photos. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Every year. Or maybe next year. <laughs> Every year. Who do you see over there? showed like how much like James he really does love to swim and that's like you know like we could not get him out of the ocean no it was awesome and like guys I do not like the ocean like I don't like salt water I don't like just being like oscillated back and forth I sunburn easy and so like this experience was like the calm Bahamas water I was in there a lot like playing and like enjoying so like this kind of changed my perception of the ocean obviously then I had a cabana to like go and sit with my drink and yeah. lay on the hammock because like the cabana was for a big family um so there were chairs and fridge and like the Damn. service of being able to like call for drinks yeah. snorkel gear biking equipment like definitely look into cabanas yeah. if you're going to be cruising um because it was just like very much so like I don't know Relaxing. yeah changed the experience to be just so like extra like just plus and the food on the island was really really good too I think too like that was our day to prioritize relaxation because okay like let's face it like a two-year-old and a seven-month-old we did not get like your typical like adult experience especially with our children who aren't used to being with others um, so we did not like use the kids club, we did not use the nursery. Um, so like we, like this was, we were pretty tired. Like yeah. I wouldn't say like, don't come with kids this age because it was just different and just like, you know. Just do your research, don't do, don't not do your research <laughs> like these days. But I mean, we <laughs> knew that, we knew going into it that we weren't gonna be giving, like yeah. Yeah, letting yeah, yeah. them go to be watched by well, someone else. I. I have been phrasing like this all week that like the partner statue of Magic Kingdom and the quote in there and the concept of the theme parks is to have fun together mm -hmm. and you can do that on the cruise and I've always heard that there was stuff for little, the kids to go off into and there's stuff for adults to go off into. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought there would be more stuff that families could do together. Yeah. Like even but like a lot of the kids is, stuff like we couldn't. We're limited because yeah. of the, the ages. ages. 
to do those things yeah. like the pools. But I did realize that there weren't a lot of kids their ages, which like kind of makes, makes sense. sense. We'll probably just wait to go on another cruise. Yeah, until probably Teddy is. Yeah, until they can do things like together, like if they were like off at the club, um, and then if we are happy to be blessed with more children, like then we would just like have to like evaluate like who would be yeah. with who. I think as long as those are two boys right now are old enough to do that, that we would come back, mm -hmm. regardless if we had like another seven month old or something. Yeah, right. Um, it would just be a different experience, but... It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. And I think our room was more than we could have, like, I didn't, I didn't even know what to expect. Yeah. And our room was just beautiful. We had so many, like, so much of our, like, memories from this cruise was, like, us just having time in our room and like it's again it kind of goes with their ages like James didn't have to be kept in a stroller and he didn't have to be like chased around or told not to go certain places it was just our place where like you could play with their toys and you know like be Like it was, it's good to be home in like a different yeah. sense of the word. But we have like stuff to do before we get yeah. off the ship. The next few days, I'm sure we're going to be like chatting and like showing you some of our souvenirs just like within everyday yeah. life. So we're not going to go into all of that, but just, I don't know, being able to finally share this yeah. experience. It was wonderful. And like truly just like a trip, long time coming and so fulfilling and I'm so proud of you for an Adobe challenge and the run. Like we just we finally did <laughs> We finally did that so Yeah. Challenge. And like you know, just being here was just such like a a moment. Yeah. So it was special. Should be the first of Disney cruises for us. Yeah. Um I loved it. Yeah. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, the music, the, right. just being in, like, it felt like Disney magic was hugging me the whole time. Yeah, and I, I think, it. like, we aren't keen to relaxing and, like, having this, like, our phones not working. Like, here and there I was able to do some stuff, but we just didn't get, like, the full-blown package, like, which is, like, really disconnecting and just being with each other and, like, and, the kids. and yeah, and our friends, like, it was just, it was everything and more I could have it was like it wasn't like it wasn't what I thought it was going to be yeah. but it was like so fulfilling in so many other ways but now we get to go to boardwalk. the boardwalk and we're checking in there um, for two nights of festival of the arts 
Um, our so favorite festival. Our favorite festival, so we're very excited. Thanks for all the encouragement and the kind messages yeah. over the weekend and the past week and just for yeah, rooting us on. Like, you guys, made, you guys <laughs> made it to the show. You guys got on. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy, enjoy. So thank yeah. you. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.